will be part of the show that always features three things. Intense competition, fierce rivalry... And an injury for Dick. Yes, <laughs> it's time for... Ant versus Dick. The teams. Dodgeball last week, I got off the mark. I got my first point in the Thank you. About time. Which meant, thank you. Which meant a celebration for all of my team. And elimination for one of mine, leaving me one woman down for this week's challenge, which was the death defying bobsleigh. Both teams head to an Olympic training facility in Bath. Here they can practice the crucial start of the bobsleigh run on a dry track. Everybody's slightly nervous this morning because we've been having a little... Uh, we had a little talk through about the challenge and the dangers of it. We've had guys that have been pulled underneath the wheels and it's broke heel bones, broken ankles. I don't really want to do it anymore. <laughs> you sit in and I put your feet against there and hold on. On the side, it's a little bit different because you're going to be running at speed and then it's on, in, sit down. To make things fair in the challenge, the teams will be racing with the same professional driver. This leaves only three spare seats in the bobsleigh. I just wish I could send three other people in that I could stay at home for the rest of the week. <laughs> at the end of training in Bath, Ant and Deck must announce which two team members they'll be taking with them to Austria. <laughs> this could be very dangerous, you know. I don't know why I'm laughing. I just think I'm scared. <laughs> One, two, three, go! 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 Right, man! Let's go, man! Keep on hiding! One day, I'm gonna be the one! On three, and he goes on two! She goes, oh, go! Woo! It's good! You do think you're going to die halfway down. After training, Ant has chosen Jay and Bonnie. Hello, it's me. Just to say I'm going to Austria to be in the bobsled room. <laughs> Deck has chosen Lee and Melinda. This is not a one-man team, it's about their team and the best should go, so it was better than me on it and it's only fair that it should go. So the stripped-down teams head off to the airport and into the unknown. Following morning, and the two teams have arrived safely in Austria. Good morning. Mm, Austrian bacon. <laughs> They're up at the crack of dawn to make the journey into the mountains to the Olympic bobsleigh track where the challenge will take place. Here we are. But there's no time to take in the scenery. The teams have to see what they're up against and walk the track with their bobsleigh driver, Lee Johnston, the British number one. Corner two, going into the entrance of corner three. You'll feel a little bit of waving and you'll start to feel a little bit of pressure. When, when, when do your eyes close? <laughs> is that in the very beginning? Uh, this is bend five. You'll feel this bend because it's basically a wall. This corner is what's called a chrysal. By the time you come into here, you'll be doing about 65 miles an hour. And just as you come out of these shades, you'll be pulling about four and a half Gs. This is where most people go over. <laughs> you know the best team win. Yes. See you, guys. See you, Thank you. Who's <laughs> <laughs> oh, idea was this? In the race, Jay on Ant's team and Lee on Deck's team will be in the all-important brake position, where they will pull a lever to stop the sled. It's all down to us and how long we can run down there pushing it without the sled running away from us, I think. We all get really serious about it. It is a really good competition. Both teams are running out of time to practice before taking on the mammoth course. <laughs> One minute. It looks scary. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. Scary. Uh, and now we're going to just practice getting in and out of this bobsleigh. This is the bobsleigh we're going to be using on the night. Three, go! The thing I'm worried about is just the getting in. But once you're in, I think, well, just push fingers and see at the bottom. I just want to do it well. I want to kind of get it, because it's all down to the start. All down! Whoever does that quicker will win the race tonight. 
A uh, little bit of nerves have, have set in for everybody now. It's, it's all become very real. When I saw the first bobsleigh go past, I just wanted to cry, because I just thought, that is so fast. It was literally like a bullet out of a gun. The competitiveness is, is starting to kick in. Uh, and I think it's a mixture between excitement and nerves at the moment. Right in. in a couple of hours' time, we'll be on the track and doing about 80 miles an hour. Yeah, it's going to be a fun-packed day ahead. Great. Um, I won't give too much away about the race. I mean, we, we don't know, but um, yeah, it was, it was very good. Very good. scary, though. Right, Tough. yes. Now, I know that neither team, as you just said, was allowed to watch the others race, so no one knows the result of this week's challenge. Nervous about this? Very nervous about this. I've, I've been excited. Always. Since we got back, I've been thinking about it every day, so I just want to know now. I want to know. Right, well, don't go away, because <sighs> after the break, we'll find out what happened oh. when Team Ant and Team Deck risked life and limb, literally, in the bobsleigh. Over to you, Jeff. Oh, thank you, Kirsty. Look at you. Look at you. Still to come. There's mountain pressure in Ant versus Deck, the team. Plus, it's a case of dash for the cash and avoid the splash in the mouse trap. I'll see you in a few minutes.